so we all know now it's a new week and we've got a load of new missions that were meant to start as of the 25th today is the 26th yesterday i released a couple of videos and live streams so i didn't manage to go through the story but as you could bet in this video we're about to go over the story and i know a lot of people i had a message come through on discord to so shout out to you and um, saying you skipped the video or you'd fell asleep sleep through the video so in this video you're going to see me going through all of the story missions that are in the game today so to get started i'm going to go to my journal and here we can see if we track it uh, we we need to go to bertrand Hubeck in their base within fort louise let's go over to the location we can see it's 115 meters away i believe it's actually at the top it's not down here down low so let's quickly just head up and round there it's pretty cool because apparently they put a dialogue in there there's quite a good story uh, in this and all these new missions so if you're not playing the game then come back to the game and obviously give this a whirl um, and let me know what you think as well in the comments down below if you've done this or if, if you're looking to do this what is your thoughts of them actually doing these kind of instances in the game now uh, where you go into new worlds and new areas i mean this is looking pretty damn cool i'm gonna be quiet and just play it out Of all the missives sent to Pirate who matched me cannon for cannon, you are the first to respond, Capitaine. Yes, I believe you and I can reach an accord, one that benefits us both. The Helm sent you after me, didn't they? They promised you freedom and power, yet here they are. Yanking that chain around your neck. Tell me, Capitaine, why do you risk life and limb for a few of their paltry trinkets? And yet here you are, blindly following the orders of another. Have you asked yourself why the Helm wants me and my brother dead? We both crave the same freedom to direct our sails. For you, it may be infamy, power, and influence over these shores. But for us, oh, we dream of returning to the Gilded Stage. And while the Helm tasks you to dust their doorstep, behind closed doors, they hide a treasure more powerful and vast than you can possibly imagine. My brother and I have no quarrel with ordinary rogues such as himself. Only the Helm and their friends shall fall against the combined might of the Compagnie Royale and the Chorus Fleet. And when that time comes, would you not rather stand with us on our Grand Chorus stage? Join us, Capitaine. We pledge to spare your burgeoning pirate empire from our haunting song. And after the helm is all but destroyed, who shall remain to pick up the pieces but an enterprising rogue such as yourself? Here, do not simply take my word that the helm schemes behind your back. This is a missive from one helm sister to another boasting about using that treasure to influence all rogues in the Indian Ocean. Have you lost your mind, Bertrand? Parlaying with the Plague King was one thing. You would trust his bomb speaker to tell their ass from their knothead? <coughs> Armand, brother, see reason. To cripple the helm, we must lure powerful agents from their side. This is how we exploit their weaknesses and expose the whereabouts of their treasure. And this is how we shall sing again. My officier say this one has already climbed into their sheets. The ass licker! Do you really think a cur would bite the hand that lines its pockets with its? Now, crease that silver tongue of yours. The time for fancy words is over. If you really are in bed with the helm, then you are of no use to us. To the nines with you. And all the little shits who call this hellhole their home. Okay, so that was a pretty odd interaction. They wanted me to fight with them, and then all of a sudden, Armand come in and said, 
Yeah, I don't want you to fight with us anymore. So now it's saying speak to Yanita about the revelation. I went and had a look through this office, guys. Um, and I don't know if anyone could say in the comments down below, because I'm not going to include the, the little walk around that I did in the office before. Obviously, we can see it looks like they're going to try and attack St. Anne. Um, and we can see, obviously, the top part of the map. We've been able to see that for many a times. We do not know what this map is. If anyone knows what part of the map this is, please let me know in the comments down below. Also, do we know who this bounty is? I've never seen that before, but it looks like we're going to get that coming up. Now, my main thing that I really wanted help with, guys, everywhere is a knife is obviously somewhere or something that's going to be happening because we've seen his knife thrown everywhere, so there's St. Anne. Can we, in the comments, try and figure out where this knife is on the world map? That, to me, looks like Cape Town or uh, Cabo Verde, sorry. Um, that's where it looks like to me. Let me know in the comments down below if you think it's in any different location. Pause the video if you have to. I'm just trying to get multiple angles of the, the globe. So, yeah. Let me know what you think that is and where that is. Um, it's in, obviously, Arabic writing. I'm not too sure, but it's obviously a world map. Let's continue with the story. Twins prove elusive. The twins, they made me an offer. I'm going to go with made me an offer. A fool would bite. The enemy will say anything to sow discord within our ranks, Captain. Whatever treasure they may promise you, they sing a pretty yet empty tune. The helm rewards those whose ambitions match our own, who keep the golden wheel greased and turning a profit. And of course, those who defend our mutual interests when the need arises. You sank Bertrand Hubac not long ago, humbling one twin. While he recovers his strength, his brother Armand lashes out like a wild storm across the Indian Ocean. In the face of such threats, our only hope is to stand together, Captain. There are no easy paths to one's dreams. Do not allow yourself to be swayed by the enemy's siren song. Remember, you stand in the abyss, the crucible of destiny. Right, so we've got two more missions here now. We can see the Defender's Overture, a man who's ramped up his attacks on the Helm Agents, which could fracture the Helm if they continue. Aid Helm Agents, that they are sending distress signals to stabilize the Helm's profit. Or Vengeful Versus, which I'm guessing you could do both of these. Uh, Lepest plague bringers have been spotted lurking in the region and possibly working with the chorus fleet. Send the plague bringers it to the depth. And I'm going to go ahead and accept both. Let me track that. And let me go and get this one as well. There you are, you little beggars. Take these out. Quick success. Well, that's a little bit too far. Ooh. So I ain't been using the bombing. Last night on stream, we were killing all the bosses by only ramming them. I know that sounds awful, and it should do, but we were actually using ramming builds. It was hilarious. So if you're not part of the twitch.tv, come over to twitch.tv forward slash IDFHI. Uh, if you want to ram some bosses with us. Um, and let's get this sorted. Let's get these down. I don't know how... Have we got to kill all of these to the Plague Bringer? So maybe it's only that one we actually have to focus on. My perception, perception of distance is really not kicking in with this one. There we go. Down. Plague Bringer's head is on us. Guess and now we just have to return. It says read treasure map. Okay. And if you look at the treasure map, if you actually read it, it does say there we've cut a deal with those opera clowns. Cause some havoc in the areas, then sail to the eastern gate. See East Indies. There are payment lives within cast lookout. So we need to go to the cast lookout. Um, and there is the cast lookout. So let me quickly just sail back dock and then fast travel over there. So here we are at cast lookout. It's now going to say we've got some tre treasure, I believe, um, because obviously we had to read the map. Uh, it's not showing up, and the bushes are floating. Here we go. Hold to track. Let's go and look for that tree. Maybe it's this one just down here, literally sim simply sitting down below. It's not. So if it's not down here, it's going to be up the top over the bridge. Quite possibly. I'm sure there's a tree there because I've had this on uh, a rare treasure map or a very rare treasure map. Very old treasure map, I think it's the one that's called. Hmm. 
But there is a tree here. We'll just run by all the trees at this point. See what happens. There's a tree sitting up there. Let's go over to that tree. Oh, you run so slow in encampments. There we go. So it's this tree just up here to the right. And it's got a little logo. Oh, no, it's not. It's not a logo. It's a sword sticking out of the tree. Nice. Um, you watch. It's going to be some different treasure that I've just went ahead and picked up. Treasure hunt complete. Sugarcane. Plague bringer's head. And we've got the coded message now. So do we have to go to our codex to read that? Or can we do it straight from our journal? Here we go. Straight from our journal. Delivered coded message to Yanita. Uh, so we'll quickly go and do that one step at a time. And just on a side note, guys. I'm in the UK today and I am flipping melting. Let me know what the temperature's like for you anywhere you are in the world. Because... Apparently it's hitting 29 degrees today, and in the, the town that I'm in, there was a serious building fire today, probably caused because of this weather. Good to see right, you. good to see you as well. Here is the, the coded message that you requested, and we've got these at the Picari Freeze. Hopefully they're giving these Picari Freeze, they're not giving us anything less than that. Uh, we've got the Serpent Schemes now there. Anything for you, Galvi. Thank you, Unia. Let's track that. It's the Picari... That is terrible. I am getting rid of that. I do not want that in my inventory. We can get Picari Freeze. And she went, just went and gave us a Picari 1. It is Picari Freeze. We can get right. Yeah, we can get Freeze. And we literally just got given a 1. Mental. All right, let's go to the Defenders Overture. Heading straight to Perujar's Cry. This game still looks absolutely fantastic, though, when you're in first-person camera. And you look around, and you literally just see all the lands. I mean, yeah, I do understand it's a shame that you can't just jump off and... Obviously, enjoy the lands or the terrain in this game. But there'll be a lot of wasted land. So, in one sense, it's quite lucky that we can't just do that. Because we'll probably get quite bored. I mean, they could make some major cities that we could walk around, some arenas we could fight in. Who knows? In a couple of years, we might get a giant overhaul. We saw it, obviously, with um, No Man's Sky and all that. Them doing massive overhauls of the game. So eventually, I'm guessing if everyone asks enough, it, they might do it. But it might not be possible. I mean, as the game stands right now, I'm loving it. And I'm loving the direction it's going. So I'm uh, I'm definitely happy holding on. Repair status. So what's going on here? Defend the Helm agent from the Chorus fleet while they repair. I'm actually really happy we've got these story missions. Yeah, okay, they're not difficult at all. But in terms of actually being able to play them and doing something different in this game, I think it's a giant W. Continue with Unita when ready. Okay, now we've got more quests, Melodic Mayhem. So we need to sync our man Hugh back. And so you can see, because I am obviously solo in these, here is the build that I am using. So if I just go to uh, change ship, but quickly pull up the details, and I go down, you can see here, I'm using the Sandbook with fire bomb mods all around, apart from the right side, which got the Rama's Legacy, Rhapsody of the Deep, uh, and then I'm using Tuning Station, Scoping Station, La Potent Schematic, Gunpowder Bench, Starboard, Powder Kegs, and Torpedo Works. And I've got the, uh, the Rama's Legacy on my right-hand side. So let's quickly fast travel up there and let me quickly just solo the crud out of this boss. So there we go. We can see our man has appeared in the distance. I need to make sure I'm far enough away. I need to set him on fire. And then as soon as I set him on fire, I need to just absolutely pepper him with torpedoes. And he will go down so quick. This is an absolutely phenomenal build for this. Um, so I'll make another video on this, a standalone video on this. We did do it all last night uh, on stream. But yet again, I'll do another build video so everyone who wasn't there to witness it can actually understand. So the first thing is to set him alight. As soon as he is on fire, then we are good to go. Right, he is now on fire. So we can start just hitting him with these torpedoes. I need to make sure I get the, the lining up properly of these torpedoes. But as soon as I start getting the line up right, you'll see the damage that he takes. Okay, he's managing to dodge him pretty well. He's moving in a singular direction away from me. Shouldn't be too hard to hit. There we go, we're hitting 25,000. Okay, the ignite's gone off of him, which is not cool. We need him to be on fire for this to do what we want it to. Right, 
when he moves through it a little bit further. It's just setting back on fire. There he goes, on fire. Oh, I've hit one of his. Now they've landed in the water. Let's quickly just hit him again. He's ignited. Look at this damage. Bam! Can it almost 80k a hit if you do it right? Probably just a little bit out of range. We'll be getting them clean shots on him. He's ignited again. Oh, we're too we're too close. And we got the crew board in. There we go. So that is uh, how you kill him solo. You saw the build at the start of this. I will do a standalone video. I'm just showing you that for the, the sakes of this video. We can't pick up that. Let's get back to shore. So no word of a lie. You will see this soon. We managed to kill Lopez in 38 seconds last night using this build. But with multiple of us. Not just me on my own. Let me just quickly uh, ver clarify that. So the only thing we're going to change when we go to kill the pest is we're literally going to switch the armor from the one that we've currently got on the the ones to stop against them to the one that stops the poison from the pest so the wailing ward all right so now that we're down here the main thing we want to do is take out the la pest tower that sits just above his spawn uh, it's the easiest place to obviously, uh, or sorry, if you don't take it out, it's it's uh, the easiest way you're going to die. So make sure you do take it out, otherwise you are just going to make it so much harder for yourselves. You don't want to do that. And preferably as well, don't destroy that helm ship because I've got the helm mark on the bottom left. And now we're seeing a lot of uh, helm ships floating about and potentially could spawn on me to try and kill me. And it's just going to make things a little bit more difficult. So don't do what I did. Um, I thought it was a little bit comical, but it's... Uh, made the missions a little bit tougher for me to go ahead and do right so we can hear the pest is incoming let's quickly try and take out this tower before the pest gets here himself because we can see we've still got the chorus fleet after us which is not what we wanted right so we got the torpedoes on this side he's going to go and stop somewhere in front of that I don't think he's going to come straight for me I mean it looks like he is so on this, this note I'm literally just going to set him ignite or set him on fire start working away at him Oh no, I didn't want to hit the chorus fleet then. We're a little bit out of range. That's about right there.
So I'm used to rotating around a different way. So I've really bugged myself up here. Okay, we got a nice little brigadier coming in to help to save the day. Cool on Brigatine. Give him a good old ramming. He's on he's ignited as well. Oof. I don't know if he wants to be so close, because when his gas comes out. I mean not a pretty day for that brigatine. Got some good hits there. The brig still hasn't gone down. Is he focusing all his fire on me? Oh, he's going down now. Yeah, you don't want to be close to him when he does that. There we go, and the pest is down. Hopefully you enjoyed that section of me killing the bosses and the build. Obviously, the build comes from Walu from the helm.gg, so go over there and share some love um, and give him some support. Have we got anything else left to do? We do. We need to go. Oh, no. 9th of July is the next part to this. So let's quickly just open the pest strong box, see what we get inside the pest strong box. There we go. We've got some other bits and bobs here. Some normal mystery chests. Another one. No, nothing amazing. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you thought of it. Um, and then, obviously, if there's anything you want to try and change in the game, put it down in the comments as well, because they did say in the last deck, they do read comments of the YouTube videos. So I'm guessing they'd like to hear your thoughts and, obviously, any new ideas that you might have. Uh, like, follow, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.